talking about tips on how to start a vegan lifestyle. So 2015 seems like more people than ever are going plant-based. That or I'm just noticing it more. So these are some of my quick and easy tips on how to transition to a vegan lifestyle. Do your research. Now, this is one of the first things I recommend people do before even trying to switch. So some good books to read are Dr. McDougall's Start Solution, Neil Bernard's Reversing Diabetes, T. Colin Campbell's China Study, good documentary to watch is Forks Over Knives. This provides good backing into why you're wanting to make the next step. So let's say you've been researching for the last couple of weeks. Next I would look at dropping some of those unhealthy habits like eating out at McDonald's or takeaway in general and replacing those foods with more fruits and vegetables. Over this time I'd look at upping the carb amounts you eat. So be it fruit carbs or vegetables, that's all great. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, rice, etc. So after this period I would suggest dropping animal foods for a particular day. Let's say once a week initially. So for these days you are 100% vegan and you do this once a week for a while and then you start increasing the amount to let's say Monday and then a Friday. And then it's a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday. So by this stage, you should start feeling the effects of eating more plant foods. Having more carbs in your system, more fruits and vegetables. You should start to feel much better than you did before eating animal foods. So what happened to me, and I think will happen to you, is you have all this energy. So this is a good time to start upping your exercise. So if you never exercised before, start walking a couple of times a week. If you exercise already, perhaps increase the intensity now. By this next phase, you should have already transitioned completely to a vegan lifestyle. You should be having no animal products in your diet. You should be starting to feel much better, exercising more. And this next bit is quite important to keep you on track. And that is finding a vegan meetup or community in your area. So meetups are quite important because it gives you the feeling that there's other people in the community doing the same thing that you are doing. It gives you a buddy, someone to talk to, someone to bounce ideas off. There's plenty of vegans online, but sometimes it's nice to have a chat in person at the park while you eat some fruit. So for me, raw till four works best. But for you, all raw could work or all cooked. It's no big deal as long as it's high carb, low fat, vegan. So for those who don't know, raw till four means you eat a fruit meal for breakfast and lunch, and then you have a cooked dinner at night. I find this is the most flexible. I can still go out with friends to restaurants. So as you can see, this sort of approach to changing to a new lifestyle it's probably the best way to do it. So personally, I didn't do it this way. I did a cold turkey overnight. Unless you're quite strong mentally to push on through, it may not stick. So if you don't know, I've lost a lot of weight and gained a lot of energy going vegan. I'd recommend it to anyone considering it. Try it for a month and see how you feel. Most newbies make the mistake of just eating a lot of salad and feeling terribly hungry and not having enough energy. So eat enough carbs and you'll be fine. If I've missed any tips, please let me know in the comments below. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.